I would like to request the next uh, set of speakers, uh, Ms. Krukla Nune from Oracle and Mr. Lukman Husseini from CCC. For your information, the topic is Empower Yourself and it will be a very interesting session. Thank you.
or if you do it, you would be wrong. That is your inferiority complex. It is pulling you back, pulling, pulling you back from uh, performing an action. The second is the superiority complex, which tells you that you are capable of doing that, but this is not the platform to showcase. Okay, so most of us suffer from these two. Now there is a third monkey also. Want to know who is this? Yeah? Most of us work for this monkey, free of cost. <laughs> Want to know who this monkey is? This monkey is sitting beside you. <laughs> that means we do most of the things for the person who is sitting beside us. For our friend. We wanted to raise the hand, but this fellow did not raise the hand. <laughs> Time, 
responding to the change. Somebody said from that side? Response. Response. Our response to things. Behavior. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry? Yeah. One at a time. Perception. Okay, this is an attitude that we speak in crowd. <laughs> okay, we have to be you know, alone, uh, different. Raise your hand and say. Behavior. Behavior. Way of thinking. Present. Sorry? Present. present. The way you present yourself? Okay. Let me differentiate certain things what you have said. Uh, friend said, behavior. Attitude is not behavior. Attitude underlines the behavior. Now, if I have got a positive attitude, my behavior will be positive. If I have got a negative attitude, my behavior will be negative. Attitude, in simple terms, is a mindset which we have. And as certain friends suggested, it is the way we look at things. The way we look at things. We may look at things positively, we may look at things negatively. Something happens, a power shuts down, some of the people may look at the power shutdown as negatively. Some of them may look at it as positively. Because when one world closes, you have other things to do. Isn't it? You can use that time. You know, what happens? I come from Amir Pet, uh, no, I work at Amir Pet. So while coming, I, I meet a signal which, you know, which stops me for about 3 to 5 minutes. So when I stop on the signal, I open my mobile and check whether there are any SMSs which I have to read and reply also. So on the signal post, I use the time. I look at the stopping at the signal as an opportunity to send the SMSs, reply to SMSs. We can do that. Yes or no? Yes. So attitude is the way we look at things. Can you proceed? Yeah. So one of the friends suggested that attitude is behavior. Behavior is the product of attitude. Our attitude is the real iceberg within us, which influences our behavior. The way we respond to things, like friend suggested. The way we respond to things, or the, the way we respond to people. The way you respond to your parents. The, the father orders you something, the way you respond to him is your attitude. The way you respond is behavior, and that behavior was because of the attitude which you have. Is it making sense? Yes, no, maybe? Yes. Yeah? So attitude is something which cannot be seen which is within us. Our behavior can be seen by people. Yes, no? Yes. The way you behave is seen by people, but the attitude you have is within you. People judge your attitude by looking at your behavior. And that is what interviewers do. They judge your attitude. One single most important thing which will fetch you a good job, according to me, is your attitude. Your, your capacity can be built upon, but attitude no, it's very difficult to change it. For some other person too. You can change yours. We'll see how to do that. Okay, so let's move ahead. Next one, please. Yeah. A positive attitude is not a destination. No, say one day you struck a note saying that no, I, today I have achieved a positive attitude. The way to look at things positively. Now I do not look at the drawbacks as drawbacks or failures as failures. But I look at the failures as an opportunity. So, do you think is that the time where you have to relax? No. Positive attitude is not a destination which you reach, but it's a way of life. Now, we have to possess this positive attitude till we are alive. Yes, no? Yes. Yeah? Yeah. The great discipline, this is a very you know, uh, inspiring sentence for me. I read this for the first time in Dale Carney's book. How to win friends and influence people. He quotes William James, the greatest, dis the greatest discovery of our times is that a human being can alter his life by altering his attitudes of mind. You are successful because of your attitude and you are a failure because of your attitude. If we look at population wise, we are superior to America, isn't it? Intellectual wise also, we, you know, there are so many Indians who are working in uh, say uh, NASA or America. Yes, no? Yes. But why is that India is behind, lagging behind? When we have got this, this much of capacity in us, we have got capability, we have got capacity, but still we are lagging behind. Any any answer from your side? Why do you think we are lagging behind? Sorry? Three, three monkeys, because of three monkeys. Yes. Three okay. That's true. That's true. That is the attitude which we possess. We are not go us. We, we, we do not you know, want to actually do the thing by our own. We wait for the other person to do it. Isn't it? 
The other day I went to passport office and I was standing in a queue and there were people those who were breaking the queue and you know, going to the counter. So uh, I, I don't feel it good. I suggested the people in front rows to stop them, but they were not doing that. Fearing that you know, this fellow may beat them or <laughs> tell something, abuse them and they may feel, feel small. So I had to take up that particular challenge. I said to the person who was standing behind me that uh, I will be just coming back. I went to the counter, I stood there and I regulated the line. Most of us wait for the other person to come and do things. Okay, that's why you know, I feel we are lagging behind. We have to take up the challenge and do things. Right? So, your mental attitude is something you can control outright and you must use self-discipline until you create a positive mental attitude. Now, this thing doesn't come on its own. As I told you, as we discussed in the initial part, that skills can be cultivated. Once you join the job, the manager can cultivate your skills by providing you training. But he can't cultivate your attitude. The desire to change attitude shall come from within you. Okay, and the good news is it is, it is possible to change the attitude. What is the method? According to Napoleon Hill, he says that we have to exercise self-discipline until it becomes a habit for us. Is it making sense, friends? Yes. Yeah? Until it becomes habit for us. We have to exercise self-discipline. Waking up in the morning, for, for instance. We have to put alarm till we get habituated. And once we get habituated, we will wake up on our own. Yes or no? Yes. So, but till then, we have to use alarm. That will discipline us. Okay, we, uh, all of you ride bikes, right? You know how to ride bike. Yeah? Friend, you have come on bike here or how? How did you come here? Uh, by auto. Anybody who has come from bike, come by bike? From this road? Yeah, my friend has come from uh, come on bike. So, do you remember when actually you switched from gate 2 to gate 3? And do you remember how many times you switched the gear on and off? 1, 2, 3, 4. How many times you held the clutch, applied the brakes? Were you driving consciously or not? <laughs> so, though friend was driving, no, riding consciously, but he doesn't remember how many times he changed the gear or held the clutch. The reason is it has come into his subconscious. Okay, the, the, when he was maybe learning riding a bike, he was very conscious. Yes, no? When I was learning, I was very conscious. No, this time, the speed breaker is coming, so I have to go back to gear 2. Tuck, tuck. Then hold the clutch, slowly climb over the speed breaker, then leave it, go to gear 3. This, we all think, yes, no? Yes. So we exercise self discipline while we are learning things. But as we learn, we practice again and again, it becomes our subconscious. So to acquire positive attitude, in order to make our personality positive, we have to exercise self-discipline. So can any of our friends ex uh, tell an example where they have, uh, you know, used a self-discipline to motivate themselves? Any small example, which you can share with your friends here. Anybody? Is any monkey stopping you? <laughs> <laughs> any idiot stopping you? Any idiot stopping you? <laughs> See, if you have something to share, if there's something in your mind, but you are not saying, then believe me, there is either of these three monkeys which is within you. All the three might be also. All, all the three also, maybe. Can't say. Anybody wants to share anything? Yeah, 20 plus man, you haven't done anything in your life till now. To self-motivate yourself. To bring self-discipline in your life. Anything, anybody? Shocking. You can use the same uh, example which I told you. <laughs> Alarm. <laughs> you did it, right? Then why did you say? This monkey was talking. The month of Ramadan, we do it. We do it? For, for getting up the hari. Uh, getting up the hari, and after Ramadan is over, we leave it. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah, what else? Any small thing, just share with your friends. Any small thing. Yes, no. Any small thing. Yes, no. Anybody? Yes, no. Any small thing. Okay. Okay, self-discipline, yeah, exercise yeah. that, isn't it? It was very difficult, no? Maybe <laughs> <laughs> you are outside the exam hall. <laughs> you don't know how many missed calls you have. <laughs> yeah, so let's this move ahead. <coughs> now, the question is, okay, I am suggesting you that you need to have a positive attitude. Yes? What, what's the logical question? What, what question comes next? When I tell you that you shall have a positive attitude and you shall exercise self-discipline until it becomes your conscious, until it comes into your subconscious, what, what is the logical question which comes? How? How? Isn't it? How to acquire that is a logical question. 
Very unfortunately, most of the literature and most of the speeches are found on the importance of positive attitude. But little is spoken about how to cultivate that. Okay, so in today's session, we'll work on how to cultivate the positive attitude. Are you ready for that? Yes. yes? So the positive attitude starts with positive thinking. The friend suggested out there, positive attitude is optimism. Winston Churchill says at a place during Second World War, that an optimist will look for an opportunity in a problem and a pessimist will look for a problem in an opportunity. Okay, you, you, you open the newspaper and the friend tells you, hey guy, you have got an opportunity over here. He says, yeah, it's too distant, no? The job is too far, the company is too far, the timings are odd, I know about this company. You are actually trying to identify problems in the opportunity which is being presented to you. Yes, no? Yes. Somebody might have told you that there's a program in TAPS here on uh, Sunday, 25th, at 10 o'clock. 10 o'clock, Sunday, waking up early is no, not possible for me. And TAPS is too far. And I don't know whether it will be useful for me or not. So that is identifying problems or looking at negative things in an opportunity. At this point, I would like to say that uh, recession is an opportunity. How many of you agree with me? Recession is an opportunity. I I, I, I do agree with that. And I want the people to tell one word at least to raise their voice say, to say that why is it opportunity? They can start their own business. Okay. <laughs> opportunity to learn new things. Sorry? Opportunity to learn new things. Okay, that's wonderful. Opportunity to learn new things. Next. Cut short on the expenses. What? What? Expenses? <laughs> <laughs> you can use that as an excuse, isn't it? The company is not doing that. The company is used recession as an excuse and they are laying off people. Remove unwanted persons. You can go on extended vacation, no, that's true. I can buy stocks. You can buy stocks. Okay, yeah. Are you financially true. independent? Maybe. Oh. Isn't it? So the point is, uh, very rightly said by Krupala, <coughs> that recession is also an opportunity. But for whom? For whom? For whom? For whom? People are who are confident in their life. For whom? For whom? I want that for one answer. For whom? Oh, please. One, one person, please raise your hand. For whom? For whom? For whom? The person who has got a positive attitude. Let us acknowledge him for giving the answer. So, the person who has got a positive thinking, the person who is optimist in nature, for him, recession is an opportunity. For all the others, it is a problem. It is a situation of no, no, grave concern. In fact, it is. But by worrying on the problem, will you solve it? No. Then look at the opportunities which may help you in growing. So, regarding positive thinking, Frank Outlaw presumably says that watch your thoughts. And thoughts are very crucial. Uh, see, listen to this. Charminar. How many of you have had a glimpse of Charminar the moment I said Charminar? Please raise your hand. Charminar Zahan me aage achanak. Charminar bhoote. Thank you so much. How many of you got it? <laughs> Thank you so much. The point is, before we do anything physically, we do it in our mind. Giving money to a beggar. Imagine, no, no, you imagine that you are giving money to a beggar. Yes, no? So before we do an action, that happens in our thought process. So we have to regulate our, th regulate our thoughts. If you can regulate your thoughts positively, your actions will be positive. So he says, watch your thoughts, they become words. Watch your words, they become actions. Watch your actions, they become habits. And watch your habits, they become your character. And we all know that our character is our destiny. Yes, ma'am. So where is, where is it starting? It's starting at the thinking. So we have to change our thinking. Okay, say an opportunity comes to you, look at that opportunity as an opportunity only. Do not find problems in that. Don't find what will happen if I do this. Am I making sense? Yes. yes. In the next stage, you can find a problem and find an opportunity in that. But in the first stage, let us start looking at opportunity as an opportunity. Okay. So what you can do in order to exercise is because you know, I just now said by quoted Napoleon Hill, he says we have to exercise self-discipline unless our positive attitude becomes in our comes in our subconscious. Okay. So let us start exercising that. Now from now on, whenever an opportunity comes to you. Do not try to find problems in that. There are some people around us, you know, the moment you tell something, you know, say for example, 
Rahul Dravid, the good cricketer. Somebody says that and there, are, there is this fellow who says, what a good cricketer. <laughs> he doesn't know how to do this. He is a slow you know, uh, run getter and all. He will look at the negative aspects of it. Isn't it? The person who is saying Rahul Dravid is a good cricketer doesn't mean that he is not a slow, you know, he, he also knows that he is a slow run getter. Yes, no? But this fellow always looks at the negative aspects of people. So let us be the people, those who are optimistic in nature and look at positive things. Ready? Yes. Yeah? Let's go to the second point. Next, please. Positive communication. Our thoughts will become our words. Yes? Now let me ask a question over here. Who are you, friend? Muhammad Abdul Khadar. Oh, that's your name, I believe. Who are you? You are a human being. What do you mean by that? <laughs> human being. Being human, not even a human. <laughs> Trying to be a human. You are, you are, you are what? Who are you? You are a human being. Now, uh, sorry? You are a practical person, not a theoretical person. <laughs> <laughs> you might be found in lab there. <laughs> you think practical? Okay, Mr. X. No, Mr. X dies. What will you say? Well, what is that particular thing which is lying out there? Dead body, right? Dead body of who? Mr. X. You will not say Mr. X is lying over there. You say dead body of Mr. X is lying over there. Then who was this Mr. X? If this body is the uh, no, body of Mr. X, who was Mr. X? The soul of Mr. X. What is the soul? How can can you can you look at my soul? But you realize it's the energy which is within you. Can anybody see anybody's soul? No. No, nobody can see anybody's soul. So your soul is the way you communicate, the way you speak. You know as much, you know about me as much as I projected myself. Yes or no? Yes. I am speaking on positive attitude, so so you will believe that you know, I am a person who's, you know, who is positive in thinking. Yes or no? Yes. So by my words you will assume my personality. Yes? yes. So we have to be very careful while, while using communication, while using words. Okay. We should avoid using negative words like not possible. I can't do that. It's difficult too. These are all negative words which will disempower us. If we want to be empowered then we have to use words like yes, I can do it. Sunil was talking about you know, in the earlier sessions. A can-do attitude is what the interviewers look in you. If you have this can-do attitude, then they will be very pleased and they will take you in. Is it making sense? Yes. Okay, a small example over here. Very unfortunately, because of the society in which we are living, we have acquired this negative, using of negative words. Yes? Now, friend, what's your name? Rajendra, where do you stay? Dishuk Nagar. Nearest railway station is Malakbet, right? So you want uh, uh, Rajendra, right? Oh Rajendra wanted to go Lingam Bali and the train was at 2.20 in the afternoon. He comes to Malakpet. Okay? At 2.25. What will you say? Do you want to talk? What will you say? Lost the opportunity. Lost the opportunity? That's a too big award for that. No, no, no. What will you say in Urdu? Train 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 Thrones out there, so he is looking at a rose and he steps on a throne. Emantar. 
first early 30 minutes of your life is set as platinum minutes. First 30 minutes when you wake up. Just decide what you want to do. Or if you tell you don't have any plans for the day, at least think of what you have done the last day and what you have to do for your goal to have, uh, you know, need to achieve. That first 30 minutes is very, very important. That will judge your 24 hours, will plan your 24 hours. Yeah, right, you say. So you can have, you can have only when you do things. You can't have when you don't do. You can't wait for things to happen for you. And your action is the real measure of your intelligence. If you know this much, I know this, I know that, I know that, I know that, I know this. There are so many of us who are like this. Okay. Similar to a donkey who has been burdened with a lot of books. Will the donkey make use of the books? No. no. Your intelligence is measured by your actions, not by your knowledge. So we have to put our knowledge into action. Friend. Yeah? Then, living in the present. This is also one of the positive things which we need to do. Most of us either live in the past or live in the future. We fail to live in the present. Okay? How many of you who are forcefully brought into this program? Please raise your hand, honestly. Forcefully. Thank you so much. Yeah. You, you came here for some XYZ person, isn't it? He wanted you to come, so you came. He forced you, he will mind, so you came. Now, after coming, it happens with us. After we do things, because they have told us to do, we are never comfortable. I would have watched the television. I would have did, did, did this, I would have did that. By coming here, I was unable to do this. I could have achieved this for the future. Yes, no, we keep thinking like this. So what happens? Are we doing that by thinking about that? No. What are we doing then? What are we doing? What are we doing there? We are not doing things which we are not doing because we are here. And we are not making use of the session also. Yes? So when something happens in our life, it is positive attitude to accept it at that, at that moment. When it occurs, accept it. Okay, live in the present. Don't think about the past. Past has gone. If you, you know, keep the past where it belongs to, you, can, you will not carry the baggage of your life on you, right? So leave the past where it belongs, reach to the future, but live in the present. Okay, by focusing on the, see, you are the product of your past. What do you do, friend? What, what do you do? Pursuing. You are pursuing your MBA. Okay. Uh, what made you qualified or eligible for pursuing MBA? You did your? Graduation. And after birth you did your graduation or what? <laughs> How? When did you do it? After you are intermediate. Right? So the point is, wherever you are standing today, jahan kahi bhi aap hai, that is because of the actions which you have taken in the past. Friend, your name? Sayyad. Sayyad Ammar. Sayyad If Sayyad Ammar, as you, he has not did his intermediate. Will he be an MBA now? No. Can't be, because he has not did his intermediate. He did intermediate, but he did not do graduation. Can he do MBA? He can't do MBA. So his present is the reflection of his past. His present is based on his past. Had he made his present good, he has in fact made his present past good. Had he made his past good, his present would have been fine, and it is fine. Yes, no? Yes. yes. So in order to make our future better, what shall we do? We shall correct our? We can't correct our past. We don't have the time machine. We have to, we have to correct our present. If you, can, if you make your present well, your future will you know, work on its own. You need not think about the future. Is it making sense, friends? So whatever you are doing, do it 100%. Focus your attention purely on that. Don't think about the past or don't think about the future. Some of us may you know, ask questions saying that, how can you know, we don't think about our future? Now just imagine this particular scene. You are on score 99. Okay, 99. And the scoreboard is showing 100, no, 99 out there. You want to score the single run to become? Uh, no, to score a turn, to score a century. Now the baller is coming to you and you are looking at the scoreboard. <laughs> When, when it is going to change to 100, what will happen? The bowler has bowled a ball, you are still looking at the scoreboard, what will happen? Yeah. There is every possibility that you may get out. Yes, no? Yes. You know you are at 99, what you have to do then? Focus, 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 focus on the present. Focus on the present. Focus on the ball is coming. By focusing on the scoreboard, you will get out. So don't look, neither look at your past, nor
not look at your future, but do whatever you're doing right now with absolute uh, perfection. Okay, lastly. Now, this is very crucial. Controlling of reaction. In fact, I should have told, uh, no, mentioned that as positive reaction. We have said positive action, right? What is positive action? What is positive action? Sorry? The positive action kya hai? We discussed just now. Positive action is doing things. There are two things, action and inaction. If we are in action, we are not working out, that is a negative action. Working out is a positive action. Okay, so if you want to have a positive attitude, you have to keep acting, keep doing things. The moment there go. Got it? Yes, no, maybe. Yes. Yeah. Thirdly, positive, uh, sorry, lastly, positive reaction. We react to what? What do we react to? What, what do you think I'm talking about right now? Action. Action, uh, I know you are all engineers. You will think of Newton now. <laughs> For every action, there is an equal and opposite reaction. Yes? When do you react? When do you react? <laughs> Friend. What's your name? Yeah. Basit. When did Basit react? React. <coughs> when, when I asked his name, he reacted. He was not saying, I am Basit, I am Basit. <laughs> Only when asked, he said he is Basit. Yes, no? So when an action occurs to you, you will react. Reaction happens only when the action occurs. Okay. So now we have to exhibit positive reaction. <coughs> we shall we shall exhibit positive reaction. Things will happen to us. Power shuts down. Things happen to you. Do you have control over the power shutdown? No. You don't have. But you have control over how you can react to the power shutdown. Okay. You have more than one option. You can react by shouting, screaming, and saying that the system is like that. India is corrupt. We want Telangana. Power to Telangana. Okay. You can still, you can react positively also. You can take your mobile phone out and read in the light of the mobile phone. Yes, that is your positive reaction to the situation. Somebody comes and tells you, "Hey guy, I don't like your face, man." <laughs> now you get quiet. By the way, you're looking very handsome. <laughs> And you, you, you get wrong. Huh? How dare you say me like that? My father has never said that to me. <laughs> and the fact is, every day father says that. <laughs> you know, it happens. You know, in college, when I shout at people, I was in the shout at students. My parents do not shout at me. How come you are shouting? The reality is, parents every day shout at home. But the, the guy tells like that. Isn't it? The point is, how you react is in your control. I quote one single example before I end the session. Sorry for taking more time. This particular instance is quoted by Stephen Arpova in his book, Seven Habits of Highly Effective People. If you find time, read this once in your lifetime, at least. So he quotes an example of a person who is readying himself for the office. He is sitting on his breakfast table, and the daughter who is, drink, who is a school going girl, she spills the milk, glass of milk. She spills it, and the, you know, the, the milk falls on his shirt. As, as any father of our times, he gets angry. He shouts at the daughter. He shouts at the wife also for not training the daughter properly. And in a uh, rage, he gets up from the dining table. He pushes the dining table because of which two more glasses fall down. <laughs> and then he goes to his you know, wardrobe to take out another shirt. And he wears a shirt. And in, in a hurry, he puts the buttons up and down. Then he has to remove it again and put it again back properly. Are you getting it? This, this is his reaction to the situation. Yeah, chain of reactions, one, one impacting the other. Now, then he comes down and he pulls his daughter because he has to drop the daughter at the school also. He drops her at school, the daughter is still crying. She does not wave him back because she is crying. And this fellow also speeds fast. In the process, he breaks the traffic rule and the traffic police surrounds him for 100 rupees. And he starts abusing the traffic policeman also. And the, 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 you know, the discussion goes on for long. He is late to his office by 15 minutes. The boss is standing out there looking at him from under his specs. Okay, that means half a day cut of salary. What happened? What actually has led to all these things? One glass of milk? Was it one glass of milk which has led to this? His reaction to the falling of milk is responsible for whatever has happened. He could have reacted differently. The glass of milk has fallen down. He would have politely said to the daughter, daughter, this is not the way. He could have got up, 
peacefully went into the wardrobe and took it to get shirt. Yes, he would have saved his lot of money, time, energy, and effort. Yes, no. Yes. So the point is, the way you react is in your hand. Let us not let people to provoke you. Anybody comes and does anything to you, don't get provoked. Okay, a person with positive attitude is always calm and composed. Okay, he looks at things. He looks at his actions. He looks at his thought. He looks at his words, and then he reacts to the situation. Is it making sense? Yes. So this thank you so important. much for being very patient over here. Kukla, please yeah, this is very important when you are facing the interview because you need to be so patient, and you know you should be so composed to face the interview. Sometimes it all uh, it happened with everybody. It happened with me also. Uh, you know the answer to the question, but you're like you're scared, you're afraid, you're fear, and you know you're like you know. Uh, I don't, uh, something like that. You just go on with the pace and you don't answer the question. But when you come out of the interview, you say that, I would have, I know the answer, but I couldn't answer. So this problem is there with everybody. So you have to overcome that fear in yourself. So how can you overcome that fear in yourself? Practice. Practice. If you know the subject very well, if you know the basics very well, your confidence level increases. And whatever your question comes to you, you can easily face it. So first practice, the, you know, go through all the basic fundamental books and be confident that whatever question is asked, I'm, I'll be able to answer it. And I'll take five minutes of you. Um, why are all, all we here? Why are we all here? We CAG people are here because we want everybody of you to be successful in our life. That is our motto to be here. And what is your motto to be here? So, getting a job, are you successful? Then, yeah, everybody have a different goal, everybody have a different ambition in your life. And it sometimes happens that you do a degree in mechanical engineering or, you know, chemical engineering and when you come out of your graduation, software looks very uh, fancy to you and you want to shift to it. Though your complete core interest and passion is in uh, sorry, your core subjects, chemical or mechanical, why do people shift into others, other streams? Sorry? Because you have more pain in other streams. It depends upon other You are suppressing your interest and moving into other things. Why do you have to suppress your interest? Sorry? Pay scale. Okay, suppose you have financial responsibilities at your home, you take that opportunity, but always keep in your mind, always, uh, you know, revising your uh, fundamentals where your interest lies, come back to that stream. I don't say that, you know, taking the software job, though you are interested in mechanical, it's not good. If your situation poses, it's okay to take, but you have to come back to that particular situation where your interest lies. That gives you happiness. At the end of the five years of your life, doing a software job, earning good package, and you're not happy. So is it worthful? So keep your passions upright, whatever it might be. Any music, dance, painting, always keep your passions upright. That will bring your positive energy in your life. I want to learn karate since so long, and recently I've learnt it. After 24 years, imagine. Because I want to be a self-confident, self-defense ke liye mujhe chahiye tha. And I learned it. Don't suppress your interest, don't suppress your hobbies. And it's always, it's uh, something like, you know, 15 years of your study has been there when you come to the job life. Almost 15 years of your life. So this particular three months or four months before you face an interview is so damn important for you. Every moment is so damn important. Plan your time very properly. You have wasted, you might have wasted so much time in your life, but this time is very, very important to you. Every second is important. Plan it properly, understand it, ask questions, know the answers from people. Suppose if you have an interview tomorrow and you don't, you are unable to complete the syllabus or you know, unable to go through it, just call up your friend who knows the subject, just discuss with him. That might be helpful, right? Am I boring you people? No. Sorry? You are filling the forms. You are filling the forms. Busy filling the forms. I just asked for five minutes, man. Friend, you are not living in the present. 